1973, we were nowhere. We started a little company in Memphis. And today, we are a verb. People don't say, ship it to me. They say, FedEx it to me. You got, you got that? Is that the way it is in Ireland too? Well, that's what it is. Now, how that? Heck, did we get there? I don't remember where I'm from. <laughs> how did we get there? We got there because we used the three, what I call, immutable laws of success. And I would hope that I could bring in some way these immutable laws to Ireland. So you got a recession. Woe is me. Welcome to the club. You don't know what it's like out there. But there's none of my wish. There's something special about the Irish. And you don't have to listen to me if you don't want to, and you can miss the parade. But I'm here to tell you, there is something special. So what are the Maguire absolutes? Here's what they are, and I want to leave them with you as we speak today, and tell you how it, I tell you how it, it made us grow beyond anybody's imagination. The first Maguire absolute, well, let me put it this way. What defines a great country, an organization, a relationship, is not wages, and not working conditions, and not the economy. What are the three things that define this, this relationship that we have with the rest of the world, Ireland? Here's what they are. Number one, passion. Passion. Now, I don't know about you, but I've been around the world and I've never met a group of people more passionate than the Irish. It gets you through all kinds of problems. So there I was. I was having breakfast with General Norman Schwarzkopf, a great American general who, who uh, helped in the, the war in Iraq. And so what happened was he said to me over lunch, he said to me, Francis, you know what's missing today in the corporate arena? <clears throat> now listen to you young guys and gals, listen to me. He said, you know what's missing today in the corporate arena? I said, no, General, I'd be interested in your opinion. He says, what's missing in the corporate arena today is leadership. And leadership has everything to do with character. Now listen to me. There's nothing stronger or more powerful than the character of the Irish. How do you feel about your character? When your employees are not there. When the people you're working with are not there. When your children aren't there. When your wife is not there. When your husband's not there. How do you feel about your character? That will tell me a lot about you. Federal Express started out terribly. In 1973, our first night of operation, we had uh, 23 airplanes circling the airport. Night one, FedEx. And those planes touched down on the runway. And they taxied into the distribution center. And there we were. We call ourselves the Dirty 30. There were 30 of us. And we ran out and we tore open the door of those 23 planes. And we took off those 16 packs. <laughs> Ireland, I don't want to know your problem. You got it? 16 packages, 23 planes, and today we're a verb. For the past many years, you've been on the top of the heap. People talking about you all over the world. It's time to get with it. It's time to become a verb. It's time to get back on the top. And what's going to happen to you is your passion. 
And the second thing, and these are, you can't ship these. You can't put them in the closet. You can't count them. Your passion, I mean, you know, only you can be passionate about what you want to be passionate about. And let me say this to you, please, my friends. If you're not passionate about what you're doing with your life, do something else. Now I know it's difficult when you're attending a great university like this to find it what it is that, that you're passionate about. But what I'm telling you is you'll know it when it hits you. So the second one is passion first, attitude. First. Here's my advice to you. All of you, every one of you, and your fellow citizens, it is time to connect the head with the heart. And we've got them both. You cannot accomplish anything with one and not the other. What is it? It's Federal Express. Becomes a verb in 30 years. It's pure Colonel Sanders, man with the white suit. It wasn't his chicken. He and, the, he and the new CEO, because we got acquired, that's why I got fired. So he and the CEO were having a reception one night in Louisville. The Hume Line, the company that bought us, makes smeared off vodka. So we had a lot of receptions. <laughs> so, so here we are, and, and, and uh, Hennessy says to the Colonel, at this reception. He says, Colonel, would you do me a favor? Would you bring the original 11 herbs and spices to the office Monday? The recipe? Because we want to we wanna put it in the bank, half of it in this bank, and, like Coca-Cola, and half of it in that bank. So we say, okay, that's a pretty good idea. Colonel, you got, you got the message? <coughs> Colonel says, I don't know the recipe. Hennessy <laughs> 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 gets white. He says, Colonel, I just spent a half a billion dollars for this company. I'd like to think I bought something more than an old man in a white suit. <laughs> so right away, we're sweating from the bottoms of our hands. Colonel gets up. He walks around the table. And he goes to the chair he says, Damn it, Ed. Don't know what you're getting so excited about. It's not the original 11 herbs and spices made this company great. It's the 12th ingredient, the secret ingredient. The new boss says, well, what's the good ingredient? The colonel looks at him and says, You're looking at it! <laughs> <laughs> Folks, this is exactly the way it happened. And I must tell you, I must tell you, my Irish brothers and sisters, I'm looking into the eyes of the secret ingredient of the success of Ireland which can maximize our productivity, can maximize our profitability, and yet we're in line feeling sorry for ourselves, having a big old passion party. We're not passionate anymore. Why? Because we're in a recession. Give me a break. Recession. Of course. And I'm not here tonight to tell you that it's going to be easy to get out of. I'm not here tonight to tell you that it's just going to go away. I'm here to tell you is that the moment of opportunity is here. That there's never been a moment of opportunity. The sign on Colonel Sanders' wall, opportunity is nowhere. I said to him, Colonel, what's with the sign on your wall? He said, what sign? I said, the sign that says opportunity is nowhere. He says, that's not what he says. I said, I can see. I went to college, Colonel. I can read. He said, well, look closer. And I did. He says, do you see it? I says, yeah, Colonel. He says, opportunity is nowhere. Says, to me it says, opportunity is now here. <laughs> you got it? Folks.